Today I'm going to show you a HUD created by this person. It features icons for player statuses like health and so on, and displays the player's location above the map. There are also display options for the server name and amount of players, the player ID, how much money the player has, and the date and time. While well, in a vehicle you get this nice looking speedometer and there are options to disable features if you don't like them. I'll leave a link to the resource in the description, I hope you enjoyed the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Before we get started, go to your server resources and into the QB folder and delete QB HUD. If you're using a different HUD, make sure you delete it. So I'm going to go ahead and press the green code and download zip. Once it's done, open it up and go back into your resources. And I'm going to place it in the standalone folder. Once it's in there, make sure you remove the main from the end. So we'll go in and look at some of the customization options. The first option is for the framework you use. It's already set to QB Core, so I won't be changing it. If you use ESX, make sure you change it there. The next option is for the speedometer and if you want to use kilometers per hour or miles per hour. If you don't want to use kilometers per hour, change true to false. Then you have some display options. The first one is for the minimap to always be enabled. By default, it'll only show when a player is in a vehicle. If you want it to always show, change false to true. Then you have an option for the street display, which shows the player's location above the minimap. Next, you have the server name. I'm going to change this to my name. And that's followed by the currency and the refresh time for the amount of players in the server. The next section is for the fuel. You shouldn't have to change anything. Then you have the ability to disable some display options. If you don't want those sections to show, in the top right, change true to false. The next section is for all the colors. I'll be changing some of that later on in the video. Next are the options for stress. You can enable it or disable it and change all the settings. There's commented out text explaining what each simmer does. You can also disable stress for certain jobs. The next section all deals with stress. Change them if you wish. And the last section doesn't need to be touched. If you made changes, be sure to hit file and save, then start your server and test it out. If you're looking for hosting, check out One of One Servers. One of One Servers is a cutting edge VPS and dedicated server provider specializing in top notch features like reliable network, unlimited player slots, and advanced DDoS protection. They also offer 24 7 customer support so you can get help when you need it. Use the link in the description to check out all the features and get started. Now back to the video. So I'm in the server now, and this is how the HUD looks on foot with everything enabled. I only changed the server name portion. So I go ahead and just run around. You can see the stamina icon getting lower and once it's very low it'll start blinking. The same thing happens with the health and food and drink icons. So I'll go ahead and pull out my vehicle. On the speedometer section you have the speed and gears. I did change it to miles per hour. You also have the fuel and engine levels on the right and left. In the middle at the bottom you have indicators for the headlights, seatbelt, and engine. When they're on, they will highlight white. So I put my seatbelt on and just toggle the engine to show that. Next, I'm just going to change the display color for the server information to blue instead of the red. For this, I'm just using Color Picker on Google. So I'll go through until I find a blue that I like. I'll just choose this. Then go back to the customize.lua. And I'm going to change the server details and the money icon. Then save it and restart the HUD. All right, and I like that blue. If you want to change the icon colors, it's basically the same step. And that'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed and it helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. And if you need help, the creator did leave their Discord in the README. Thank you for watching.